Okay, I finally got with the program, and now I'm doing what every red-blooded American knife enthusiast should do. <sighs> Can you believe it? How long has it been? <laughs> I have never purchased a Spyderco Para 2. Can you believe it? Paramilitary 2. Compression lock. Kaboom. And yes, I did. And you know what? I didn't even decide to do it. I just got done for me. Because uh, my rep buddy over at Motang said, Oh, we're going to have this sprint run of Spyderco knives with uh, S35 VN steel. And it's on this side. And, and there's what's on that side. Golden Colorado USA Earth. And uh, both the Glessers, uh, Sal and Eric, I think his son, whatever, uh, both, you know, the initials will show up on whoever designed the knife. I guess this was between the two of them. That's why you got both sets of initials on the blade. In any case, <sighs> compression lock, S35EN, brown. Now my favorite color, blue would have been nice. Bento box has got a blue one for 185 bucks, something like that with uh, M390. So this is S35VN. So, oh well. In any case, see? Paramilitary C81GPBN2. And in here it says, Spyderco manufacturer exclusive knife runs for our wholesale customers. These exclusive runs are purchased in entirety, blah, 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 CPMS 35VN, Crucible Steel, and it says Motang exclusive. So, yes, it is. Cool, huh? Okay, so prove that one to you, by God. Argue with me, will you? Para 2. Cool. So, um... Not like they don't do sprint runs all the time, but I can't believe it. It's like you don't exist as a human being unless you have one of two things, or both preferably, which is a Spyderco Para <laughs> or a Benchmade Mini Grip. It's You go on the knife forums and you look at all the knife chat on, on the web, and it's always like, my Mini Grip, my Para 2, it's like, wow, what? Did I miss the boat? Did they like the, the ferry leave shore and I wasn't on the boat or something? Uh, going to official B knife guy, whatever, if you don't have one of these, I, I don't know, in your collection. It's, I don't know, like women, uh, they, they have to have a little black dress in their closet or something. I don't know. So here I go. There you go. Hey, blame me. Okay, now here it is. Now, am I official yet? <laughs> I just thought it was pretty cool. And you know what uh, is incredible? Like, probably you don't know the dimensions of this knife. Oh, yeah, you do. I mean, it's compared with everything. It's like, no matter what knife I'm reviewing, right? Whatever kind of knife you review. As a knife reviewer, you're supposed to have, well, here it is in comparison with the Para 2. Because everybody's got one of these, right? So you know exactly what size any other knife is in comparison. Forget the tape measure. All you need is a para two. I just just keep going on with that, won't I? Okay, so this came with a pocket clip here. So it was right hand tip down carry. That's how it came out of the box. And I go, negatory there, good buddy. Negatory. Got to change it to tip up. So I did that. Although I had a little issue with this farthest out screw here because it was not tapping in. And so I go, oh crap, are you kidding me? Did they not thread that hole? You know, there you go, quality control. But fear not, I just pushed hard enough. Actually, the threads at the very tip of this screw were not taking, they were not. But once I pushed kind of past that, then it took and it screwed right in and all is well with the universe. What I was going to say is, if you've ever gone e on eBay or online or wherever, 
I mean, I didn't realize until recently. I mean, my God, you can get this tube in purple, blue, bronze, whatever color you want. This lanyard tube, any color. Screws, pocket clip, spacer, uh, any color you want. Oh, and they have titanium, aluminum, and G10 backspacers that you can add to these knives of any color, any style. Titanium deep carry pocket clips, any color, skull, cross, whatever. I mean, it's amazing. It's, and we haven't even gone down the custom scales thing. You could put carbon fiber, you could put titanium, you could put sculpted G10, you could put anything on here. You can change this knife up. It is just one little starter kit. And then you can spend $4,000 in accessories with a $150 knife. What? <laughs> so I'm saying no. No, I won't. But you know, it's interesting that that's available. And my other failing, I have to admit, brothers and sisters, no, I don't own a grip or a mini grip. Benchmade. And I can't tell you, and this hasn't happened lately, but it was a couple of years ago. I would go on the Benchmade site because you can, you can custom make your own grip or mini grip. Yeah, they have different steels that you can choose from. I think like D2 and 154CM and some others. So you can choose your steel. You can choose your handle color. You can choose engraving and patterns and different things to do with the knife. I mean, all kinds of things. Uh, the, the style of blade, uh, that kind of thing. And you can build it. And then they will make it and ship it to you. I got to do that yet. I, I used to go on there. I mean, you'd laugh, but... I used to go on their site and build my dream knife and then save them, put them in my saved thing and then go back and like change out options. It was like just my little fantasy thing and I never actually bought one. <sighs> so that's on my bucket list, you know, of all the bucket things there are, but I got to do that. And why am I talking about Benchmade? When I've got Spyderco Pair I write in my hand and boy, that thing swings. Baby, does it swing. So if you were really slick, you let it, you know, you pull back on the compression lock once it comes close. In any case, really cool. I reckon we're talking about a three and a half inch blade. The military is like four. Oh, my tape's coming off of my tape. The tape is coming off of my tape. I'm going to take the tape off my tape here pretty soon. Uh, yeah, three and a half inch. Yeah. Eight and a quarter overall. So, you know, you're just like your comfortable EDC, like having a Barca lounger. 21 uh, centimeters and about two, not quite nine, maybe, as far as overall uh, blade length. But cool jewel and 11.6 millimeter thick, 0.45 blade stock. 0.14, which is three and a half millimeters. So, three and a half millimeter blade stock, S35VN, G10, compression lock. You've got your, uh, got your liners in here, stainless steel, bangity boom bang. Uh, looks like they're skeletonized a little bit through here. On the top scale and even on the bottom, doesn't it? If I'm seeing that correctly. Yeah. So, should make for a very light, and it does feel fairly light, carry knife. Oh, by the way, I got this sitting on my scales over here. <sighs> really? Save a life, surrender your knife. See, we do this right after the knife attack of the terrorists. What's this, June? This is June 6th now. Um, so a couple days ago, terrorists in a van mowed down people, then got out with knives. No guns, just knives. And so these are the women that were wearing the burkas. They got out of the van, and then they went down ahead of the terrorists, changed their clothes, and... Uh, 
<laughs> uh, it's not funny, but I mean, this is like, let's disarm ourselves as soon as we get attacked. Man, that would have been really strange, wouldn't it? The pioneers coming across the, oh, we just got attacked by the Lakota. Let's make sure we throw all our guns away. That just really... So if you guys do feel the need... Oh, by the way. Uh, throw all your knives in a box. Send them to LTK Headquarters. No knife will be refused. No knife will be refused at all. We accept all knives. We do not discriminate. Just if you really feel bad about owning a knife, you just want a Q-tip in your pocket, send the knife to me. Please, because I hate spending money on them if I can get them for free. <sighs> yes, in any case, this is the Spider Co Paramilitary 2. And I'll tell you what, Sprint Run, you know, it's been, eh, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, though. The, the, you, you've seen the ones, the S110V with the burple scales. Uh, yeah, I just can't get into that. Uh, the S110V would be nice, but the purple, I, I I like the blue that Bento Box does. But the, the BentoBox.com, you know, if you've ever gone in there. I didn't know anything about them until like three months ago or whatever. When Hank asked me to go in there and buy a knife for him because it wouldn't ship it to uh, to him. So I went in there and got that blue military for him, which is like 215 bucks, and that's... S90V, but their their para is M390 with those blue scales. Cool deal, though. Great sprint run. That'd be that'd be the knife. That'd be the para I'd want. In any case, just thought that I would let you know that I'm officially official because now I own a paramilitary knife that'll probably be on my next table sale. Alrighty then. 3.8 ounces not bad it's light it's at least it's a light carry it's a light carry oh crap i should have my manix in here but i got that blue translucent manix 107 is for the grams uh and that 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 manix that i've got now that i will throw in my pocket when i'm wearing uh cargo shorts or something and this would be okay this would be doable okay but that manix is probably like two ounces if it weighs that much you know so, yeah, I'm a Spyderco fan. I mean, I used to have a ladybug hanging on my key, every key ring I had. Ladybug, right? And then, of course, the Firefly and the Endura was my, my, one of my first knives when I became a knife collector or decided I was going to get into knives. Endura was like, psh. and then the civilian with the old Tuffrin insert, you know, in the aluminum scales. Oh, my God, that's old school. In any case. I will not bore you anymore, but these are so cool and you can do so many things with them. It's just amazing. Oh, hey, hold on. So, yeah, here's the, I mean, this is, doesn't look the same color in this printout, but oh, my ink might have been fading on me. In any case, Para 2, blah, 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 154, well, out of stock. So, I guess when they come back in. Or you never know when this will be coming up. Ah, so, yeah, 3.44, uh, basically three and a half inch blade, blah, 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 para. And what else they said on the uh, second page? If we can read. So there you go. Full flat grind, blah, blah, blah. Sprint run. Limited con quan quan quantities. New bushing pilot system, fluid action. Great. It's awesome. In any case, yeah, this is the, uh, in case you are interested again, model number. It may be dark earth, but it's great steel. The S35 VN steel, which I hear was the big request Chris Reeve, uh, you know, had developed for his Sabenzas and stuff, and then it's gone global since then. So, and it's centered perfectly. 
Nice knife. You know, it's just so practical with that flat grind. It really is. And wow, with that compression lock, easy one-hander, isn't it? I mean, you don't even have to uh, use your thumb to open it. It's kind of like it's fun to play with is the bench maids with their axis lock. It's really cool. Thank you so much for joining me. I just thought I'd run that by you and let you know that, you know, you can feel comfortable now with me because, yes, I own a paramilitary, too. I don't know. It's just so weird. I go around. And it's just like everybody's like para two, para two. If there's any knife that gets talked about, more often than not, it's that and the mini grip. I don't know. I'm not sure. I understand the magic, but I do think this is a great knife. The mini grip... I'm not as enthusiastic about the full-size grip would be cool. It is on a bucket list, so let's just leave it at that. And thanks for joining me. Hey, subscribe to my channel. We're just keep doing crazy things. This is very mundane <laughs> for us, but uh, just hold on because it will get pretty crazy. And you know what we do. We love them knives. Stay sharp.